João 2.25. Aleluia. I'm reading from the King James Version. Hallelujah. Verse 25 says, And I will restore to you the years that the locusts had eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. Hallelujah. So the Lord Almighty is said to restore. He is said to restore all that has been lost. All that has been lost. The Lord has promised. All that was lost. All that we we ourselves lost. The Lord is set to restore. Whatever it is, the Lord is set to restore. He can overcome the pain. He can overcome the loss of anything whatsoever. Things that we have lost through bad choices, the Lord is set to restore. He said to restore you today. He said to give you back the joy of those years that you have lost. Jesus is said to begin to write new chapters in your life. I don't know what you have lost. I don't know what you have lost. But I want you to know the Lord is restoring today and we are talking about complete restoration. Complete restoration. He wants to restore everything. Everything that we have lost. Have you suffered a pregnancy loss in the past? Loss of time and years you've been trying. You've been trying to conceive. And you're looking at it that I have, it's been one year, it's been two years, it's been three years, whatever, how many years it's been. Loss of affection. Is there a loss of affection? The affection between you and your husband is no longer there. Loss of hope. Loss of faith. Are you filled with so much doubt, fear? Are you depressed? Have you lost your strength? Have you given up? Are you tired? Just tired of trying? The enemy has taken so much. The enemy has eaten. He has consumed. He has destroyed so much. Jesus said it in John chapter 10 verse 10. He said, the thief does not come except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. The enemy has come. That is the thief, is the enemy. The devil is the thief. To steal, he has stolen. He has killed, he has destroyed. But I want you to know that Jesus said, I have come. That you may have life, that we may have life, and that we may have it more abundantly. When you begin to feel depressed, when you begin to have fear, when you begin to have doubts, when you are tired, there's loss of years and time. Is the enemy stealing that time? Is the enemy stealing the years from you? Is the enemy stealing that affi um, affection? The affection that was there between you and your wife, you and your husband, your spouse, is no longer there. It's the enemy that's causing that affliction, that loss of aff affection, sorry. That loss of affection. The love is no longer there. Because everyone is tired. You're feeling tired. I have tried, I've tried. It's been so many years and nothing is happening. It's the enemy. All he does is to still kill and destroy. But Jesus said, I have come that they may have life. And they may have it more abundantly. And when he said have it in abundance, it's have life in abundance to the full. Until it is overflowing. 
And that is what the Lord is about to do. When the Lord restores you, as he begins to restore you, his re the restoration will be more, better than what you lost. Way, way, way better. It will overflow. It will be so full that it will begin to overflow. Your cup will be so full that it will be overflow. That people around you will even enjoy from that restoration. And that's the restoration of life. Life to anything that is in us, anything that is part of our life that is dead. Life, that's restoration. There is hope because our God restores. There is hope because when God restores, he restores to the fullest. When God restores, it overflows. He restores to the fullest. It gives you better than what you have. You had before what you have lost. He does not only create, he restores. Hallelujah. If we look at the Bible, look at the story of Adam and Eve. The devil robbed them. The devil robbed them of the identity. Robbed them of the authority that they had. They lost their connection. They lost their destiny, which is working, working, working in intimate fellowship with God Almighty, with Heavenly Father. They lost their authority, and their authority is their crown of victory. But I'm here to let you know, I have good news for you, that Jesus has purchased it all back for us with his own precious blood. So it is our time for total restoration. It is our time for total restoration. For you who is seeking to, to conceive, to carry your own bundle of joy. Do you feel like you've lost years, time? Do you feel that? Are you weak? Tired of trying? I want you not to lose hope. Do not lose your crown of victory to the enemy. We have been crowned as kings and priests in Jesus Christ. And for you who is pregnant, you have lost that boldness and courage. You have so much fear in you just because you experienced loss of pregnancy before this one. You have that fear that you might lose this one. Or your pregnancy is being treated. Or you are receiving negative reports from the doctor. Your health is deteriorating. Something is not right. Don't lose hope. Do not lose your crown of victory. There is victory on the other side. There is testimonies, breakthroughs, miracles. You are close to it. Do not give up. We have been crowned. We have been given a crown of victory. Let us not lose sight of that truth, no matter what the situation is. So no matter the mistake you have done in the past, no matter what you have been through in the past, I want you to know, no mistake, no human being, no power whatsoever, no forces, not devil in the hell has the right to take your crown. If you look at Revelation chapter 3, verse 11, it says, let no one take your crown. Let no one take your crown. Your crown is your victory. And it's very important in our everyday life. No matter what we are going through, just know that you are royalty. You are being crowned. You are a priest. We are sons and daughters of the Most High God. We are the head and not the tail. Know that you are above and not beneath. No matter what happens, no matter what is happening, nothing changes the fact of who you are. Nothing changes the fact that you have been crowned. So do not listen to the lies of the enemy. 
who tries to discourage you and to rob you of all that God has given to you, to rob you of all that is yours in Christ, to rob you of your happiness, your joy, your peace, your faith, your hope, your trust in God. Jesus is determined to give it back to you. And that is his word for you that I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm, the palmer worm have eaten. I will restore it to you. I will restore to you your health. I will restore to you, if it's a pregnancy of lost, I will restore it back to you and it will be double for your trouble. I will restore to you lost opportunities. I will restore to you lost fortunes. I will restore to you your happiness, your lost joy, your peace. When the Father seeks to restore and rebuild us, it is not how we expect it. It is always better. He gives something better than we had before. So God is very much interested in restoring you today. God is so much interested in restoring your household today. God is, is so much interested in restoring your marriage today. God is so much interested in giving back to you that which you have lost. God is so much interested in restoring your health. If only you can cry unto him today. Don't give up. Do not just pray one time, two times and just expect it to happen. No. We have to keep praying. We have to keep pushing until something happens. Until something happens. So we'll be crying unto God for mercy. We'll be crying unto God. Say, God, here I am, O oh Lord. Do it for me. Here I am, here I am, O oh Lord. Ask him for mercy. Here I am, oh Lord, asking that you forgive me no matter what I have done in the past. Have mercy, oh God. We'll be crying for mercy. Say, Lord, have mercy upon me. Let us begin to pray unto God, cry unto God. Say, Lord, have mercy upon me. Lord, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me so that I can recover all my wasted years, wasted time. So I can recover my health. So I can recover all that I have lost. Due to my mistake, all that have the devil have taken from me, stolen from me. Lord Father, restore to me the joy of my salvation, O God. And renew a right spirit within me. Begin to ask for mercy. Say, Lord, mercy, O God. Hana maki de brason takati. Yes, a loke de brekida. Makanda brasa manta brakude. Say, ye loke di maki di burakasu. Say, Lord, mercy, O God. I ask for mercy. I come to you for mercy. I am sorry, O God. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Mercy that I've come, some things that I've committed. Knowingly or unknowingly, O God. Let your mercy, O God, that could see mendicida. Mercy speak for me. Let your mercy fight for me. Let your mercy speak for me, oh God. I am sorry, Kadumu ke debrisa. Manda manda burakado. I come to you asking for mercy. Lord, I'm sorry. Forgive me, oh God. Anything I've committed, oh God. I am sorry, oh God. To the west of my mouth, to my disobedience to you. I am sorry. Have mercy, oh God. Have mercy, oh God. Have mercy, Lord. Ha ne make it make it Say, Lord, let your mercy speak for me. Let your mercy fight for me, oh Lord. Even as I pray, oh God, let your mercy fight for me where I cannot fight for myself. Let your mercy speak for me where I cannot speak for myself. Manda brasonda rika di bre sikin ti makadi makubura kaso handa rika daham. And I want you to begin to touch your lips. Begin to touch your lips and confess and say, my mouth, my mouth is anointed with the power of God. My mouth is anointed with the power of God. That whatever I decree, whatever I say, even as I pray, that it will be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. That whatever I say, whatever I pray, will be we come to manifestation in the name of Jesus. That even as I call upon the name of the Lord, as I call upon the Lord Almighty, He will answer me. There will be answers uh, to my request. There will be answers to my petition. There will be answers to my prayers in the name of Jesus. Begin to thank Him. 
So, Lord, I thank you for you will intervene in my situation today. Say, so, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Father, for this word of restoration. I believe it, O oh Lord. I claim it, O oh God. I receive restoration, O oh God, in every area of my life, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, I receive restoration, O oh Lord. Thank you, Almighty God, for intervening in my situation today. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome, Jesus. Say, Jesus, I welcome you in my situation today. O oh Lord, I welcome you in my situation today. Take over the situation of my life. Take over the situation of my life, oh God. Take over the situation of my life, oh God. I hand over the affairs of my life to you. I hand over my situation to you. You alone is my God, oh God. You are my God, oh God. You are the God that I serve, oh God. You are the God that answered it by fire. The God that answered it by fire. Let him be my God. Let us begin to cry unto him. Let us begin to pray unto him. Let us begin to worry what her. Let us begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Handa masupra kada hakudi presenta rikada mukebro sintiri a close matter is a close destiny. Masupra kida kude begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Kasumanda braso say Lord intervene in my situation, intervene in my situation, O Lord. I am seeking you, O God. I am calling upon you, O God. Father, do it for me. Father, do it for me. Restore me. Restore me, oh God. Restore me to full, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord. Begin to say, oh God, have mercy on me. Let me recover my wasted years. In the name of Jesus, Father, Father, have mercy upon me. Let me recover my wasted years. In the name of Jesus, say, Lord, all my wasted years, I recover them. I recover them. I recover my wasted years. In the name of Jesus, I recover my wasted years. In the name of Jesus, I connect my faith with that of the woman of God. I recover my wasted years. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Father, have mercy upon your children, O God. Even as they call upon you, O God, by your mercy, O God, let them recover, O Lord, all their wasted years. Restore them, O God. Restoration, O God. Restoration, O God. Restoration upon your children, O God. Restoration upon your children, O God. In the name of Jesus, amen. Begin to ask for the anointing of restoration. Begin to ask for the anointing of restoration. Say, I receive the anointing of restoration. In the name of Jesus, say, I receive the anointing of restoration. In the name of Jesus, I receive the anointing of restoration. In the name of Jesus, say, every power huh, still in my testimonies. Every power still in my testimonies, every power still in my breakthroughs, every power blocking my breakthroughs. Masamanda Braku Sentari Kadimaku Brakata begin to break this to destroy those powers. I, I destroy your powers. I destroy your power still in my testimonies. Your power still in my testimony, blocking my breakthroughs, still in my blessings, still in my miracles. Masantari Kada. I got. I destroy you right now by fire in the name of Jesus. I destroy your powers. I destroy your powers. I destroy your powers in the name of Jesus. If you know that your body, your body, you need healing in your body. You need healing in your body. I want you to lay your hand upon your head or your chest or wherever you need healing. You say, my body needs restoration and healing, oh Lord. My body needs restoration and healing, oh Lord. I am sick of being sick. Tell you that I am tired of being tired. I I say, oh Lord, let your healing spirit flow through me in the name of Jesus. Let the anointing of healing fall upon me. Say, oh Lord, let your healing spirit begin to flow through me. Begin to flow through me. Let your healing power begin to flow through me. Because by the stripes of the Most High God, because of the stripes, by the stripes, we are healed. By his stripes, we are healed. Begin to ask, Lord, heal me. Lord, heal me. Lord, touch my womb. Lord, heal my womb. Lord, heal my ovaries. Lord, heal my fallopian tube. Father, open this blood fallopian tube. In the name of Jesus, I need healing now. In my reproductive organs, I need healing. Wherever you need healing, begin to call for healing. Begin to call for restoration. Begin to call for restoration. Is it for your husband? Begin to say, Lord, rest 
restore her, restore him. Begin to soak yourself and your husband, the productive organ, your wife's productive organ, in the pool of the blood of Jesus. Say, I soak our productive organs. I soak our productive organs in the pool of the blood of Jesus. I soak ourselves. I soak ourselves. I cut the crown of our head to the soul of our feet. We soak our reproductive organs in the pool of the blood of Jesus. We receive healing. We receive healing like never before. In every area of our life, in every part of our body that needs healing. I receive healing. I receive healing. I receive healing. In the name of Jesus. Healing to the soul. Healing to the mind. Healing to the body. I receive healing. Healing of the most high God. Lord, touch me. Say, Jesus, touch me one more time. Touch me one more time. Heal me completely. Touch me with your healing hands. Touch me with your healing hands. And heal me completely, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Are you trusting God for restoration in your marriage? Maybe due to what has been going on, your marriage is shaking. The love is not there anymore. The affection is not there. This is the time for you to take advantage of this prayer point. Say, Lord, I know you are the God of restoration. Redeem me. You can redeem me from my marriage, oh God. You can redeem me from my marriage. Help me and my wife. Help me and my husband, oh God. Help us to love each other. Love each other like never before. Increase the love. Increase the affection for each other, oh God. Give us understanding and patience for each other. Make us able to understand, listen to each other, love each other like never before. Ah, transform our marriage with love. Transform our marriage with your love, oh God. Say, Lord, transform our marriage with your love. With your love. Huh? If you don't love God, it's hard to love man or woman. You have to love God. If you love God, then it's easy for you to love each other. Say, Lord, transform our marriage with your love, with the love of God. Say, help me, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, oh Lord. Help us, Lord, oh God, to love each other, even in this, this, this despite the difficulties, despite this situation. Let us love each other. Let us love each other. Restoration to our home. Restoration to our marriage. Restoration to our relationship. Relationship, oh God, to get that, oh God, that my smarty day. Say, help me to love my wife, help me to love my husband like never before. Let there be increase in our love for each other. Let there be increase in our love for each other. Make us be able to listen to each other. Make us be able to love each other like never before. Let the affection be stronger like never before, oh God. Let your love fill our home in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, Almighty God. Now, I want you to say, oh Lord, restore my wasted years. Oh Lord, restore my wasted efforts. Oh Lord, restore my wasted months. Oh Lord, restore me. All that I have lost, Father, restore me. Restore me, oh God. Restore my strength. Restore my blessings. Restore my efforts. Restore my time. Restore my yes. Restore every wasted yes that I have lost. Restore unto me all oh, that the enemy has stolen from me. My joy, my happiness, my strength, the love. How could see break it? Amanda Brasso. My money. Hasumandira. Yadada Rika di Muko Brasso. Father, restore me. Father, restore me. Father, restore me. In the name of Jesus, say, Lord, restore me, oh God. Restore everything that. I've lost all my wasted effort, all my wasted effort, all my blessings that has been lost, that was lost, Father. Restore me, restore my money, my health, my strength, my blessings, my joy, my happiness. Restore my hope, oh God, my faith in you. I want to love, believe, I want to trust you more. I want to trust you more. I don't want to rely on my own understanding, oh God. Begin to remove from your life by fire anything that has been blocking, anything blocking your breakthrough. 
Every barrier to your breakthroughs, begin to remove it right now. Say, I break, I remove every barrier, every hindrance, every wall, whatever it is, every mountain that is hindering me, that is hindering me from receiving my breakthroughs. Breakthroughs in every areas of my life, every areas of my life. Say, I break those barriers. Anything that is holding me from carrying my own seed. Ah, Kasuman di I break those things right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I destroy it right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I break every wall, every wall of hindrances, every wall of hindrances, every wall of hindrances to my restoration. Let them collapse by fire. Let them break by fire. Let them melt by fire. Let them be destroyed by fire. I destroy them with the hammer of God. I break those walls with the hammer of God. I break those walls with the axe of God. Any good thing I have lost due to the tongues of my tongue. Father, I recover it. I recover it. Restore me in the name of Jesus. Anything that I've lost, anything that you have lost, Due to your tongue, due to the words that come, that came out of your mouth, the Lord did it for you, but you told one person, or you told this person, or you told this person, and you lost it. Begin to ask for mercy. Say, Lord, have mercy on me. I recover every good thing, every good thing that I have lost as a result of my tongue. I recover it. Restore me. Restore me, oh God. Restore me, oh God. Any good thing that I have lost due to me saying negative things, instead of being positive, I lost good things. Father, Father restore me. Restore me, oh God. Restore me, oh God. Have we spoken negatively? Have we spoken bad words to your spouse? Say, Lord, any good thing I have lost, Father, restore. That has caused that affection for your husband to go down or wife to go down. Say, Lord, any good thing that I've lost as a result of my tongue, Father, I recover it. Have you lost instead of you, you got good thing? Instead of you to thank God, but you were grumbling. Instead of you to thank God, you were complaining. Begin to ask God. God to restore you. Anything that you have lost through your tongue, through the words that came out from your mouth. Say, Lord, I am sorry. I recover. Restore me. Restore me, oh God. Restore me any good thing that I have lost. In the name of Jesus, begin to ask for restoration. Say, Lord, I restore. Father, restore your children, oh God. Restore your sons and daughters. Restore them, oh God. Any good things that they have lost. Any good thing they have lost, oh Lord. Due to, the, due to their tongue, oh Lord. Due, as a result of their tongue, as a result of the words that came out of their mouth, as a result of spoken words uh, from their own mouth, oh God, Father, Lord, I ask, restore them, oh God. Restore your children, oh God. In the name of Jesus, amen. Father, any good thing that your children have lost, as a result of spoken words from other people, as a result of spoken words from other people, Father, Lord, restore your children. As a result of causes, restore your children, oh God. Restore to them those good things that they have lost. Uh, they have lost, oh Lord. They have lost, oh Lord. As a result of causes, uh, someone caused them. Incantation, whatever it is. Father, let your children recover. Let your children be restored. Restore them of those good things. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Be to say, Almighty God, speak to my situation today. Almighty God, speak to my situation today. Restore unto me everything that the enemy has destroyed in my life. And everything that the enemy has stolen in my life. Some of these prayer points, I am repeating them because they are very, very important. Some of these prayer points, notice I'm repeating the same prayer point, maybe I'm just rephrasing because these prayer points are important. So I want you to pray it again. Don't say, well, pray it before. No, keep praying it. Pray the prayer. Pray. Say, Lord, ha, massive breaker. They say, Almighty God, please speak to my situation today. Restore unto me everything the enemy has destroyed. Everything the enemy has stolen in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, speak. Father, speak to my situation. Father, speak to my situation. There's nothing impossible for you to do, O God. Father, speak to my situation, O God. 
restore unto me everything that the enemy has destroyed in my life, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, give unto me my desired breakthrough. Give unto me my desired breakthrough. Let it be complete, O oh God. Let my breakthrough be complete, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Father, give me my desired breakthrough. Father, give your sons and daughters, O oh God, that desired breakthrough, O oh Lord. Let that breakthrough be complete, O oh Lord. Let their restoration be complete, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, complete restoration, O oh Lord. Give unto your children, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, give unto your daughters, O oh God. Give unto your daughters, O oh Lord. Give unto their spouses, O oh God, their husbands, O oh God. Oh God, make it and the Miki de Brosson de Rike de that desired breakthrough, that desired testimony, that desired miracle, that desired blessings, that desired favor, oh God, that desired her desire, oh God. Masu Briki de Maka de Bracasa, let it be complete, oh God, let it be complete, oh God, let our testimonies be complete, let our cup be full and overflowing, oh God, in the name of Jesus, you know, for that prepare a table for them in the presence of their enemies, for that prepare a table for them in the presence of their enemies. Father, anoint their head with oil. Let their cup be full and running over. In the name of Jesus. Your children are coming to you and they are asking how long and they are asking how long and they are asking how long that they want to receive a hundredfold restoration. Father, grant it unto your children. Grant it unto your children, O God. Grant it unto your children, O Lord. Hundredfold restoration of all they have lost. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hundredfold restoration of all they have lost. In the name of Jesus. Hundredfold restoration of all they have lost. In the name of Jesus. Complete restoration of everything the enemy has stolen from them. In the name of Jesus. Complete restoration of everything that the enemy has stolen from them. In the name of Jesus, amen. Father, for all your sons and daughters that are connected with their faith, that are praying, making these prayers, that are looking unto you, oh God, the author and the future of their faith, oh God, that are looking unto you, the great restorer, oh God. I ask, oh Lord, that you give them power for a new beginning, oh God. Give them power for a new beginning, oh God, because you are restoring them, oh Lord. You are restoring them to the fullest, oh God. You are restoring them be better than before. In the name of Jesus, thank you, everlasting Father, because the walls of hindrances to their recovery has been destroyed. In the name of Jesus, the walls and barriers to their breakthrough has been destroyed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father, because you have restored unto them. You have restored unto them. You have restored unto them hope, oh God, joy, peace, blessings, breakthrough, strength, good the health, oh God. In the name of Jesus, you have restored unto them, oh Lord, money, oh Oh God, though whatever they have lost, oh Lord, their finances, oh Lord, their source of income, oh God, we call upon your name for restoration, oh God. Restore your sons and daughters, oh God, who are looking unto you, oh God, to bless them, oh Lord, financially, oh God. Restore them also, oh God, in the name of Jesus, restore that family. In the name of Jesus, restore them, O God. In the name of Jesus, restore their jobs, O God. Restore their businesses, O God. Restore their finances, O God. Restore their spiritual life, O God. Restore their health, O God. Restore everything that concerns them, O God. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, everlasting Father. We begin to retreat back from the hands of the enemy. All the possessions, all the possessions of your children that they have that has been unknowingly misplaced by them. All the possessions that they lost, oh Lord, by their own mistakes, oh Lord. Asimikadi brasunta rakada. Hana mercy, by your mercy, oh God. By your mercy, we retrieve them back, oh Lord, from the hands of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, because you promised to restore us unto us all that the Kama, pa, Pama ones, the Kanka ones have eaten, have stolen from us, have taken from us. And we believe. We believe. We trust. We put our hope in you and you alone. And I know for that you have done it for us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for restoration in our lives. 
Thank you, Jesus, for restoration in our homes, in our marriages, oh God. Thank you, Jesus, for your children, oh Lord, who you want will lost a pregnancy. They have lost a pregnancy before. For that you are restoring back to them, oh God. Double for their trouble. Those who have been trusting you for years, who have lost years and wasted time, who are giving hope, giving up hope, who are tired, oh God. Father, thank you because I know, Father Lord, you have restored them, oh Lord. You have restored strength back to them, hope back to them. Hannah Masuti keep trying and pushing until you answer them, until something happens, oh Lord. Because restoration is now. Because they have received restoration from you. And you are going to double their trouble, oh God. You are giving them double for their trouble, oh God. Double honor, double blessing, double testimony, double miracles, double favor, double blessing. In the name of Jesus, double celebration is their portion, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, and so shall it be in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God Almighty. We give you all the praise, O Lord. Father, we bless your holy. Begin to thank him. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank God for answers to your prayers. Thank God for this particular time, for this hour, for this minute that we have called upon him. Thank him. Begin to say, thank you, Lord, for answers to my prayers. Thank you, O Lord, Father, you, because you have started doing it. Because, Father, Lord, you have done it in the spiritual realm. It's going to begin to manifest in the physical. I cannot wait, O Lord, Father. I hear the, I hear the sound of abundance of rain coming upon me, upon my family, oh God. Mercy, brother, rain is falling upon us, oh God. Rain of blessings, as in Mikadi Brakado. Rain of favor, like never before, Nasi Rarikida. Our heavens have opened, and the rain of blessings, oh God, is falling upon me, upon my house. Begin to declare that upon yourself. Begin to declare that because there is power in your tongue. Answer my power and life is in your tongue. We give you all the praise, oh God. Thank you, everlasting Father. To you be all the glory. To you be all the honor, to you be all the praise. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed and declared, amen, amen, and amen. God bless you all. Greater testimony awaits you. In the name of Jesus, amen. The Lord at this time is making all things beautiful in your life, in your situation. He makes all things beautiful in his own time. So get set. Get set. Believe. Believe that God has done it. And for your restoration to be complete, put a praise on it. Thank Him. When you get off this prayer line, begin to thank Him. When you get off this prayer, prayer platform, begin to thank Him. Say, Father, thank you. Thank you because I know my restoration is complete. I have come to return thanksgiving to you. And when He does it for you, return back to testify so that that will testimony will be full, will be complete. The ten lepers, only one person returned back to thank God. And that woman that came back, his restoration, his testimony was complete. So for your testimony to be complete when the Lord does it for you, in any areas of your life, it might not just even be because conception, we've prayed about so many other things, restoration in every areas of your life. Return back and testify. Even if it's your health, return and say, I am returning to say thank you for what the Lord did for me. He has done it regarding my health. Is it job? Your finances? Return back. Thank him. Your marriage, the loving of your married affection. Return back and say, Father, I thank you. And when you thank him, he will do more. Your time, God will do that one thing to see if you will come back and testify and thank him for what he has done. Then he will not do that major one you're trusting him for. That is a secret. God bless you all for connecting. I truly appreciate you all connecting today. Uh, it was a short notice. I put I put up the notice yesterday. I remember, yes, yesterday for today's prayer meeting, we tried to, I decided to join to add Tuesday to it. But Tuesdays will be a combined prayer meeting for those who are trusting God for the foot of the womb and pregnancy, and those who are pregnant. And then when, Tuesday, a Wednesday is for foot of the womb, and Thursday is for those who are pregnant. Hallelujah! Mondays and Fridays, I will come. I will come online as led for prayers for businesses, find our our finances for children, for relationships healing as i am led but tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays is fruit of the womb and pregnancy the lord is he is doing something in this season i want you to always say lord 
whatever you are doing in this season, do not do it without me. Father, include me in whatever you are doing in this season. And Almighty God will do it for you in Jesus' name. Remain blessed. God bless you. I will be on here again tomorrow by the grace of God, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Remember, Jesus loves you. Invite someone to be blessed. Shalom. Have a blessed day. God bless you.